Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this olive camouflage green smoky eye. It's very wearable, very friendly, very easy and approachable. I would say that anyone can do this look. And if you do not have the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, then I would tell you guys, you don't need it. Use what you have. Really focus on the techniques. Um, I love, love, love this palette. I think that if you're in the market for a new palette and you can definitely budget this, then get it. It is so good. It's beautiful and you can get so many different looks from this amazing palette. So... If you want to see how I got this look, then let's go. Alright guys, so I've used the Magic Primer Anti-Shine Flawless Face Natasha Denona Primer. This is actually one of my favorite primers and I use it sparingly because I like it so much. It's expensive. I'm going to take Lane Low Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to use that to prime my eyes. I um, We have the Sephora Friends and Family event two weeks ago I think and it was very busy and a lot of fun um, I the point of me telling you guys is my sister-in-law returned some items and uh, I got to pick something out I was very good I only bought my husband his birthday present and I was very proud of myself what did I pick out all right is that what you're wondering yes I have been eyeing this palette um it's so beautiful so 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 beautiful these shades here are typically shades that i don't wear but she's good so i want to use them not today though <laughs> i'm actually gonna do like an olivey green eye i'm gonna go in with my makeup forever powder foundation and i'm gonna use that to set my primer i really have been enjoying like an olive eye, but I'm going to do something. There's, a, I really like the palette. I've been playing with it since I got it. So I'm going to take Rope, which is this shade here. It's just a matte peachy yellowish shade. And I'm going to use that in my crease. There's a, there's a lot of shades in here that really speak to me. And really those teal shades are the shades that I, I don't really wear like teal. I love like blues, like a deep blue or a royal blue. I love like an emerald green, olive green. But this palette, like those are the only two shades where I'm like, Ugh, they're beautiful. They are beautiful, but I'm just not, they're not shades that I would typically gravitate to. But I am going to use them. I am going to film when I use them because they are beautiful. I've swatched them. I've played with them. They're beautiful. The next shade I'm going to take is Rizome. I think it's called. Ooh. It is that shade there. And I'm going to use that same thing in the crease just to blend and get a really pretty transition going. And then I'm going to take lethal which is one of my favorite shades is that one there and honestly i didn't think i'm going to use the same brush that i would like this shade as much as i do because again i like either really bright colors the mid-tone shades are not the the shades i typically gravitate to but this color is beautiful i've used it all over the lid love it and now one of my favorite shades <laughs> i am going to take Azoic, I think it's called Azoic. That shade there. I love this shade. I'm going to use it with a flat shader brush. This is, I think, one of her cream to uh, powder formulas because it's so, it feels wet and it's so creamy. But look at how beautiful. It's like an olivey, an olive brown. I love it so much. As you guys see, I'm just pressing and dragging. And then I'm going to blend that up. But look at that shade. Oh, it's so good. 
I'm going to blend up into the crease and then I'm going to take a little bit more of that green shade and I really want it to look green without being too green. I'm going to take Lethal again and just add that into the crease to blend the shade, the shade that we have on our lid up and just really make it look seamless. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to go back in with Azoic or whatever the color is called and press that again down into the lid and all I'm doing is just making sure that the color is even and saturated evenly and I'm just blending 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 I love this shade so much just gives me life guys it's like a dirty brown this is definitely one of her cream to powder formulas um, you can tell like they just look wet and they feel creamy and cool I so I was thinking about it because we're right around the corner I hate to say it but we're December is just right around the corner so I have been thinking about like the products that I have loved this year or the brands that have really stood out to me and obviously Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona and I think last year Pat McGrath was my favorite brand but I'm gonna be honest with you I have been obsessed with Natasha Denona shadows like obsessed so if I had to pick now I feel very confident when I tell you guys that Natasha Denona would blow Pat McGrath out of the water and don't get me wrong I love Pat McGrath shadows especially those special shades, the VR shades. And I, I do, I love her. I, I love the brand. I love what she puts out. But this year, I feel like there have been a few products that I'm just like, meh. And um, because of that, I would say that Natasha Denona takes the cake because I feel like the stuff that she's put out are definitely things that have always just kind of inspired me or like for example when I saw this palette I'm like I want it I knew I wanted it and Pat put out some new palettes I'm adding the the green shade to the crease now um she put out a few palettes and I'm just like yeah they're nice they're cool yeah mm. and then I just I feel like Natasha is doing it you know so that's where I'm at okay so now I am going to take a 221 by MAC and I'm going to take the shade, which one did I use yesterday? Oh yes, Troop. Another one that I'm like, oh yes. This shade here. And actually let's do, oh, let's do a rougher 01 brush. So with Troop, I wanted something that was a little bit denser. I feel like the 221 isn't as the density I wanted and I'm just going to pack this right on the outer corner and then bring it so I'm basically patting it on the outer corner so I'm packing and then blending it towards the center I know I what the last I think it was the last tutorial I put out was an olive green smoky eye but this is different so it's just where I'm at like I'm really feeling this greeny olivey business like I just I love it and this is technically not an olive green look because the shade I put all over my lid is like a brown it has like a little bit of a green undertone but it's brown people I promise you and I'm just blending okay so I'm gonna take the brush I used to pack on the brown shade and I'm just going to blend the center so that there's a smooth transition and it just, not that you could really pick up where the green starts and end, at least on camera you can't, but I can. I just want to make sure that everything looks blended. All right, guys, look. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to do the complexion. So, 
I am adding a foundation to my rotation. The Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Fluid. This is new. I've had, actually, well, I've had it in my collection, but it's the first time that I'm using it. And I am going to apply that with the Vanish Foundations um, brush that they recommend. And I'm just going to take this and drag. I feel like this foundation may be like um, the, no, Charlotte Tilbury one. It's like really thin, long wearing, full coverage. I'm going to take another pump. I only took one pump of this foundation and I'm going to just I know you need very little and this shade is beige which is a, the same shade that I wear um, in the stick warm beige is you would think it's like warmer but it's not it's definitely more of a neutral cool undertone so it always looked gray on my skin Shoot, I still have probably like half a pump left. A pump and a half would be more than enough. I'm going to take whatever's left over and just kind of press over the areas where I need some more coverage. And you guys know it's typically my cheeks. And I'm going to hit my ears a little bit. I don't know what happened here. I have like a bruise on my ear. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Um, I was My son was... Um, like playing with, I had an earring on and he was playing with it and I'm like, what the hell is that? Because it looked purple. It's a little bit of a bruise. I'm going to take my blending brush and just kind of go over the crease a little bit. I've gotten a little too close here. All right. There you go, guys. Full coverage. Very lightweight. And uh, yeah, it looks good. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use a Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm just going to work this into the brush. And I just realized I didn't do concealer. So I'm going to do just a very light dusting. And I'm not getting under the eye because I need a concealer. So I'm gonna go in with Fenty 290. And I'm just going to keep this right under my eye. I'm not going to bring it down like I normally do. And as you guys can see, this is a cooler shade. It's definitely not warm. I'm going to take this Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer. Actually, no, I want a sponge. So my room was a mess. And this room is very therapeutic for me. I love it. It makes me happy. It's you know, everything I love. Well, that's an exaggeration, right? But it's a lot of what I love. So I, um, this room is just one of my happy places. You know, it's, it's something I love. It's kind of what gets me out of a funk. It's my creative space. And I knew I just needed to do something. So I started to organize and clean. I'm gonna take my powder with the sponge and I put things away. I cleaned brushes. I cleaned my sponges. Found a new home for my sponges. And just kind of put things away. So my room is very neat, very tidy right now. What I do have to work on is my closet. This closet, there's just stuff everywhere. The bins are overflowing. It's definitely a mess. So. I'm going to take my powder again and just go over this. I know that I that's my next big project, but um, it has, it's just, you know, life gets in the way. I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs powder, and this is in Siren. It's the peachy one. Hit pan on this, and I'm going to use this with... Um, their minerals buffing brush 
And I'm just using this to really work the powder that I had on into my skin and to give my skin a little bit of luminosity. So anyway, in just kind of going through my stuff and putting things away, I'm like, oh yeah, there's that, there's this, I love this. I'm gonna use the powder, the Anastasia bronzer in cappuccino. Looks like this. And I'm going to use a rougher 05 brush. I have been using the, um, what is it called? St. Tropez bronzer for everything. Like. That has been my go-to and I'm like, I just need to pull things out and switch my rotation. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. And if you guys want, maybe I can do a video on what my weekly products are gonna be because I have so much stuff, guys. And I'm not saying that, you know, to brag or anything, but I do need to just kind of go through my stuff. This bronzer is definitely more of like a reddish bronzer. So with that being said, I have to, I have to, like, I don't know if you guys can see there's a, the center here, I've hit pan, or I'm going to hit pan. This bronzer is just so good. I don't even know if you can get it on Sephora anymore. I bought it when it was on sale. It was part of their weekly wow deals. I think it was like... I think maybe I paid like 18 bucks for it, but it's so good. It's like bronzer, contour, and highlight, but I like to mix them all. And it's just perfect. I'm going to take this contour palette by Luminous Air and Sir John. I'm going to take this shade here and contour my face a little bit. And I'm going to take Soft Peach by Cover Effects. I've been using this one a ton lately. It just goes with everything. I'm just kind of going to focus it at the front of the cheek and then blend it back. All right, guys, so this is the time where I go and do my eyebrows and lashes, and I will be back. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this liner by Urban Decay in the shade Lucky, and I'm going to apply that to the waterline. And I'm debating on whether I want to smoke my lower lash line out because I'm going to a kid party. And I don't want to be like over the top, but I feel like I need it. All right, I'm going to go in with Extended Play Giga Black Lash by MAC. And maybe this will do the trick. Oh, I think I'm good actually. I don't think I need to do anything on the lower lash line. I, if it were like an evening look or an evening party, I would say go for it, but it's a daytime look and party so let's keep it light on the bottom i really i'm telling you i would go smoky all the way but i just feel like it would be too much and i don't know the people um so i don't want to be like super done you know but i'm loving 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 this look i got a little mascara on the top there once it dries I'll just kind of go in there and boop, knock it right off. Maybe it will come off now. Nope. I'm just taking the rougher brush that I used to add the green to the outside just to kind of blend things out a little more. I love, 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 love this. So I'm going to take this spray. This is by Evian. It's a facial spray, and I'm just going to use this to set my face. For my lips, I'm going to do 3C by Makeup Forever, and I'm going to use Whisper by Nude Sticks. Alright guys, so I'm going to take... Um, let's do... I wanted to grab something from this palette, but I think it might be too much. So let's do Milk Makeup Blitz. And I'm just going to use this to highlight the inner corner here. I feel like I need something that's just a little bright. And I'm fully aware that I have a long strand of um, mascara that came down. And I'm going to take this and also pop it right under the brow just for a little extra surprise 
And lastly, I'm just going to go in with my Milk Kush Brow Product. Um, I did not do this yet because I was going, I knew I was going to set my face and I just really wanted to make sure that my brows had definition and they look natural. So I've been leaving this step for last. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I love, 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 love the way this looks. I know I always say that, but I really do love the way this turned out. I love how olivey it is and brown, and it's a very soft, wearable, smoky eye. Like I said, I'll be wearing it today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I have to tell you guys I'm really loving this palette. I think it is stunning. Um, the formulas are perfect honestly and I just love the range of colors that you're getting um, I know it seems like oh they're all golds they're all browns you know you have a ton of olive but honestly they're so different and even like there's two shades here that I'm like they look exactly the same um, this shade and that shade look like they're identical but they're so different one is a regular powder formula and the other one's that cream to powder so they look different um, even the shades come off differently like they look the same in pan, but when you swatch them, they're different blues I love 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 this palette. I think that if you're considering buying it It's a definite go for me. I Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like this video Subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any requests and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye